Hi and welcome to the session. I am Purva and I will help you with the following question. Evaluate integral limit from 0 to 1 e raised to the power 2 minus 3x dx as the limit of a sum. Let us now begin with the solution. Let us denote this definite integral by i. So we have i is equal to integral limit from 0 to 1 e raised to the power 2 minus 3x dx. Here we can clearly see that the lower limit a is equal to 0. So we have a is equal to 0. The upper limit b is equal to 1. So we have b is equal to 1. And the function fx is equal to e raised to the power 2 minus 3x. So we have fx is equal to e raised to the power 2 minus 3x. And h, which is given by b minus a upon n, is equal to 1 upon n. Therefore, we have i is equal to b minus a, that is 1, limit, as h tends to 0, h, that is 1 upon n, into f of a plus f of a plus h plus f of a plus 2h plus so on plus f of a plus n minus 1 h. And we get this is equal to limit as h tends to 0 1 upon n into now f of a. Now a is equal to 0 so we have f of 0 plus f of Again, a is equal to 0, so we get 0 plus h, which is equal to h. So we get f of h plus f of, now again here a is equal to 0, so we get f of 2h plus so on. f of, now again here a is equal to 0, so we get n minus 1 h. This is equal to limit as h tends to 0, 1 upon n into, now we know that f of x is equal to e raised to the power 2 minus 3x. So putting 0 in place of x, we get f of 0, that is equal to e raised to the power 2 plus, now putting h in place of x in the function e raised to the power 2 minus 3x, we get e raised to the power 2 minus 3h plus, now putting 2h in place of x in the function fx, we get e raised to the power 2 minus 6x plus so on, e raised to the power. Now putting n minus h in place of x in the function fx, we get e raised to the power 2 minus 3 into n minus 1 into h. This is further equal to limit as h tends to 0. 1 upon n into, now taking e square common from all these terms we get e square into, here taking out e square common we get 1 plus, here taking out e square common we get e raised to the power minus 3h plus, here taking out e square common we get e raised to the power minus 6h plus so on e raised to the power, here again taking out e square common we get e raised to the power minus 3 into n minus 1 into h. This is equal to limit as h tends to 0, 1 upon n into e raised to the power 2 into 1 plus e raised to the power minus 3h plus e raised to the power now we can write minus 6h as minus 3 into 2h, right, plus so on, e raised to the power minus 3 into n minus 1 into h. Now we can write this as, this is equal to limit as h tends to 0, e square upon n into, now this is a geometric progression with the first term as 1 and r is equal to e raised to the power minus 3h. So we get this is equal to e raised to the power minus 3h 
into n minus 1 upon e raised to the power minus 3h minus 1. We get this by using sum to n terms of a GP where we have the first term A is equal to 1 and R is equal to E raised to the power minus 3H. And this is equal to limit as H tends to 0 E square into H because we know that 1 upon N is equal to H. So we get H into E raised to the power. Now we can write this whole thing as minus 3 into n into h minus 1 upon e raised to the power minus 3h minus 1. Now we can write this as this is equal to e raised to the power 2 limit as h tends to 0 e raised to the power minus 3 because nh is equal to 1 so we get e raised to the power minus 3 here minus 1 upon e raised to the power minus 3 minus 1. Now we can write h as e raised to the power minus 3 h minus 1 upon h. So we get upon h here. And this is since nh is equal to 1. This is equal to e square limit as h tends to 0 e raised to the power minus 3 minus 1 upon e raised to the power minus 3h minus 1 upon now multiplying the numerator and denominator by minus 1 upon 3 we get here minus 3h into minus 1 upon 3. Now we know that limit as h tends to 0 e raised to the power h minus 1 upon h is equal to 1. So taking here minus 3h as h we get this denominator is equal to 1. So we write here since limit h tends to 0 e raised to the power h minus 1 upon h is equal to 1. So we get this whole thing is equal to e square into e raised to the power minus 3 minus 1 into minus 1 upon 3. And this is equal to minus 1 upon 3 into e square into e raised to the power minus 3 minus e raised to the power 2. Right? And we can write this as this is equal to minus 1 upon 3 into now we know that when bases are same, powers are added. So we get here e raised to the power minus 1 because 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 minus e raised to the power 2. This is equal to now taking minus common from here, minus and minus will become plus. We get this is equal to 1 upon 3 into e square minus e raised to the power minus 1. And we can write this as this is equal to 1 upon 3 into e square minus 1 upon e. So we get our answer as 1 upon 3 into e square minus 1 upon e. Thus we write our answer as 1 upon 3 into e raised to the power 2 minus 1 upon e. Hope you have understood the solution. Take care and bye.